Come. Come. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Cousin Calico's Ranch. I'm raring to go. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. And this is my pal, Luther. Well, hello. Hey, Finkered Phil. Dr. Piano Ology, at your service. We're looking for some hogfish rustlers. Have you seen anything suspicious? Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Seven, three, two. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. Yeah, hi, it's me. Listen, I want to talk to you about that note. Go 
customers! Ahem! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. It won't open. It's locked. Wait a minute. Didn't I see a combination written somewhere? Hmm. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Seven, three, two. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, one, two. We did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. <laughs> I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bandana. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a purple 10 gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an S on it. And a bandana. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well... I guess we won't need the combination anymore.
Well... I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. All right, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. I guess whoever was working here is done now. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks. Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. Say... Is that a bandana you've got there? Sure is. Very handy. Although sometimes I wish I had something sturdier to carry my gear in. This should be useful. You should be careful you don't get splinters. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir! Oh, <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. That's not gonna do me any good. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great! 
friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange oh. poem. Look, it's a suitcase. Ah! Phew! It's no use. It won't budge. Round and purple and pokey. It, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. It's a crank handle. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. Keeping the water from coming down here. There! It fits perfectly! I knew that handle belonged somewhere. Oh. 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 Oh.
Panther. This is an air pump. You should be more careful. Oh, sure. Now you tell me. Letter might come in handy. That's got it. Look, Luther, another purple sea urchin. Boy, somebody's been leaving these all over the place. All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. I guess. You should see my brother. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Well, it's real nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. Boy, Fluke, you're so big, I bet you can swallow the whole town. <laughs> I doubt it, but I can fit a lot of folks in my mouth. That's how come I'm the cabaret. Cabaret? We put on plays and shows and things right inside my mouth. In your mouth? That sounds interesting. Could we take a look? Well, the cabaret's closed right now, but sure, take a look. Hey, this is neat. Something. You! I think I heard something. Oh boy! Another purple sea urchin. You think they just grew here or something? Lothar. They do just grow here. Really? Wow! I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Hi! Well, pleased to meet you. I'm Sheriff Shrimp, the local lawman. I'd shake your fins, but as you can see, I'm a little tied up right now. Watch this, Freddy! I learned
learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts. Um... Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your deck. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some wrestlers who... But I must be off. There's law breaking afoot somewhere. I can smell it. But... You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh, I'm sorry, Luther. Wow, that's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. This could come in handy. wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. I'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans, and you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another wheel nut. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in? You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. <laughs> You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry! I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big! I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is! It's real good! <sighs> What kind of acts do you have when you're being the cabaret? All sorts! Singers, dancers, jugglers. The clownfish are the most fun, I think. They throw pies at each other, and I get to eat the leftovers. Mmm! 
I'd like to have another look around the cabaret. Is that okay? Please, be my guests! Come on, Luther! Let's try this! How do people see out of these things? Oh, wait! There's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? All right, you hogfish, pay attention. <laughs> I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep head to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please? Please just go to sleep. Please? We got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. an idea <coughs> be free little boy is it coming back down I don't think so Luther oh bye bye buoy look Luther this suitcase had a three ton anchor on top of it and it's not even scratched. Wow! Dirtier than that bandana. Oh. 